Can you fall in love with a robot? It's a question that has been widely explored by sci-fi novelists and filmmakers for decades. Her and Ex Machina, both Oscar-nominated movies, revolve around protagonists developing deep, romantic feelings for some form of artificial intelligence. Our fascination with this concept isn't difficult to unpick. A romantic relationship with a machine takes away all of the messiness and unpleasantness of human emotion and leaves you with something that is much simpler and easier to comprehend. But just how likely we will willingly abandon our innate need for human touch and interaction, and what will the implications for humanity if we do? Relationship coach and neuroscientist Bobby Banks thinks robotic partners could definitely be on the cards in the distant future. The way we experience love and connection today is changing. She also said that, forming romantic and sexual relationships with robots will be widespread by 2050. Technology is so intertwined in our day-to-day -day lives that we have already seen a significant rise in the number of long-distance and online relationships. People report feeling close and emotionally connected to their romantic partner, but also say that not being able to see each other creates feelings of jealousy and uncertainty of the stability of the relationship. Bobby Banks also thinks that jealousy could be removed by having a robotic partner. It would provide the affection, company, and love without the fear of rejection, being cheated on, or the heartbreak after a breakup. It would give people full control over their love life, and it would allow them to create the perfect partner, but it would do more bad, than good if not properly analyzed. Having your needs met on demand, and always getting your way, could lead to higher levels of life dissatisfaction and depression, due to not being able to cope with life's obstacles, as well as you would have been able to do previously. What makes a relationship worth having, is the human connection, and learning to love each other, despite our faults. We need to embrace the struggles in life, and learn from the pain, as that's what makes us stronger, and teaches us to be better. Relationships expert Sarah Louise Ryan, has noticed a worrying trend in people pulling away from human connections, as our reliance on the digital increases. The number of people choosing robotic partners, will increase unless we address the problems, that online dating and technology are causing, for our mental health. Sarah also feared that, humans are becoming more disposable than ever, to each other romantically, ghosting each other, disappearing when the going gets tough or giving up because of online dating burnout. Due to digital boom, human beings are losing the art of dealing with conflict in real life, and the ability to deal with different tricky scenarios with real human beings, includes compassion and love for others. Having witnessed the revolution of online dating, Sarah is worried about, how far we are willing to take our romantic lives, into the realms of the digital. Virtual relationships is also a huge concern right now. Sarah also told that, she has first-hand experience of speaking to singles, who have suffered rejection online, and inevitably feel lonely, because nothing can ever replace human touch, connection, or the feel-good factor, that comes from communicating with someone, who has the same wants, needs and interests as you in a partnership. Those who spend their time online trying to fill the romantic void, are losing the art of flirtation, and missing real opportunities to fall in love. But not everyone thinks like Sarah. Many people consider AI as a hope, a ray of light in lives of people, who felt devastated because of harsh life conditions. Several studies have already shown that, humans can empathize with robotic forms, in a similar way to humans. How and why we fall in love, with other humans is a difficult thing to define, but science does have an answer. It relates to our immune system, the release of dopamine, along with other chemicals. Psychologist Robert Sternberg, devised the triangular theory of love, where intimacy, passion and commitment, are the three points of the triangle of a loving relationship. According to Survey, we are increasingly alone, and the modern epidemic of loneliness is actually killing us. Loneliness is associated with a 50% increase in mortality from any cause. This makes it comparable to smoking 15 cigarettes every day, and more dangerous than obesity. To appease loneliness, 17% of people between the age of 20 and 35, have spoken to technology to distract themselves. So maybe it isn't unfeasible, to think that the communication, understanding, and empathy, from even simplistic AI could provide something just as meaningful as the human relationships. 
It's a common claim that our growing reliance on technology is one of the root causes of our collective loneliness, but maybe it could also be the antidote. But could falling in love with an AI ever be considered real love? The AI that already exists, narrow AI, is mainly concerned with solving specific problems, limited in what it can do, and has a relatively narrow scope of capabilities. General AI is the next step in artificial intelligence, and moves it into the gray area, when artificial becomes seen as real. This AI has a general intelligence, not just around one specific issue, but it can be combined with focused algorithms that can perform certain tasks, as well as or better than humans. These machines would have the capacity to be more loving, more attentive, more empathetic than any human partner. The true general AI doesn't exist yet, but when it discovered, it could open up real possibilities for meaningful, emotional relationships with machines. For general AI, emotion won't be an afterthought. Experts have suggested that, for truly intelligent machinery to develop, emotion will have to be fully integrated into the mechanics of the device. But before that, sexual intimacy with machines is already happening. There is a growing demand for sex bots and some men have taken their relationship with their bot beyond the physical, moved them into the family home, introduced them to their children. As technology is growing, people now can use digital technology to optimize their sex lives through recording data, which could monitor things like heart rate. Apps are being introduced now that allow you to control sex toys from any location. Our smartphones already know our favorite music, shows we like to watch, who all our friends and family are, our career aspirations, aren't they the building blocks for a successful, loving relationship? So guys, what do you think? Share your thoughts in comment section, and if you love this video, then give a like, and don't forget to subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon to get instant updates. So guys, that's it for now, see you in next video.